This video is a quick look on my EDC pens that I carry and use on a daily basis. Some of these pens appear on some other videos as well. In order of budget friendliness, the first pen is the Twispy Diamond 580 in extra fine. This is a see-through piston pen with a twist lock cap mechanism. The nib is in stainless steel and among the pens shown in this video, this has the least amount of flex in it. The ink reservoir of this pen is large and contains a large amount of ink, more than other pens in this video and it's rather airtight as I filled this more than a year ago and it has not dried out since. Considering the price, the clip has a lot of gift and it's not very sturdy. The barrel of this pen also has cutouts like diamond to aid holding the pen more sturdily. Current ink in this pen is the Waterman Fountain Pen Ink in black. I have this pen filled in budget friendly inks due to I use them on cheap photocopy paper in office and for everyday usage. Now the next pen I use is the pen that I use the most on a daily basis. And this is the Lemmy 2000 Fountain Pen. This pen is made of a material called macrolon and has a nice texture when you're holding it. It also gives this pen a nice industrial look and it does not scream expensive. This pen has a nice torpedo shape so it gives a good aesthetic to this pen. The nib of this pen is extra fine as mentioned and it's actually called a hooded nib. The nib is in 14 karat gold. I especially choose this extra fine nib as I know I will be using this very often and does not want the ink to bleed through the cheap photocopy paper that I use. This pen has a very small ink window which is quite visible when you're holding it up to the light. Let me see if I can show it to you. Also worth mentioning, this pen has a very small bump on the sides here, which can get in a way when you're actually holding the pen. But it's not a big deal as the bumps are actually quite small. The piston on the other hand is very well hidden on the top here. I'll just show you a picture which is uh, more clear after this. Lastly, the clip of this pen is spring-loaded, so you press the top and it can expand. So this makes it easier to clip on your shirt and does not snag on it. The ink I have on this pen is the Mont Blanc Black Ink. Now, the last pen that I have on this list is actually the most expensive pen also. And this is the Mont Blanc JFK Special Edition in Burgundy Red. This pen is the heaviest and the largest pen on my collection. It also has very good detailing all the way from the cap to the tail of this pen. From the top of this pen is the Mont Blanc logo. and also the JFK initials on the clip. So this clip is platinum coated as all the gold bits over here. At the end of the cap is this nice triple ring design. So this signifies the three Kennedy brothers and the Mont Blanc wording is actually sandblasted into the cap. The nib on the other hand is 585 gold and engraved in the Luna module which landed on the moon in 1969. So the ink that I have in this pen is the Pilot Hiroshi Zuku Konpaki. The pen case that I have here is the Shibui 3 pen case extra large. I believe this is a brand from the Philippines and they do make this high quality leather case in olive green. This pen case fits my usage perfectly and this pull tab over here can be adjusted so it fits any pen that you have inside. This case also has a flap for you to store any additional notes or business cards. 
So it's quite well made. The stitching is actually very neat and the zippers are also uh, YKK zippers.